Hi everyone, today I'm here to bring you a full body Pilates workout using light hand weights. This workout will also have no standing involved. So during the workout, we'll be lying on our back, on our side, on our belly, and sometimes we will be kneeling. If kneeling is not appropriate for you, you can do those exercises seated in a chair or standing instead. As far as equipment goes, all you will need is a mat and some light hand weights. For your reference, I'm using three pounds, but anywhere from one to five pounds is completely appropriate. Also, if at any point you decide that you would rather not use the weights, you can do this workout weight free as well. As always, as we're working, please listen to your body and modify as necessary. I'm excited for this one. I hope you are too. When you're ready, gather your equipment and we will get started. So today we're going to start laying all the way down on our mat. Before you come down, make sure you have your hand weights. We're going to just lay all the way down at the center, bringing our weights right underneath our hands down by our sides. Now press your hands firmly down into the weights, draw your belly button into your spine, and open your collarbones. When you're ready, we'll bring one knee at a time into tabletop position. Keep that firm pressure down on your weights. When you're ready, we're gonna toe tap those toes forward, right and left, alternating. As you do this exercise, I want you to focus on sliding the front ribs down to the hips, keeping the back nice and steady on that mat. Good, let's do eight and seven, six, moving those thigh bones away from the torso. You've got four more, three, Last two, now we're gonna just stay on the left side. We're gonna tap the toe, then we're gonna reach the heel out. Tap the toe, and then reach the heel out. Let's do a few more like that. Toe, heel one more at this pace. Toe, heel, a little quicker if you want to. Toe, heel, toe, heel. Beautiful job. Again, keeping the low back ribs attached to that mat. Let's do four more. Three. Last time, we'll bring that knee back in tabletop. Start slow on the other side. Tap. Tap. Good. Keep your breath flowing. Four more at this pace. Four. Three. Two. One, a little bit quicker. Heel, toe. Remember that firm pressure downward into your weights. Good, let's do four more sets. Three, two, and last time. Very nice. Whatever foot is forward, just place that heel down. Flex your other foot. When you're ready, just press out and in, out. Out. Just warming up that knee and that hip. Four more on the side. Easy press. Three. Two. Last time, other side. Flex and push. Knee is in line with the hip. Ankle is in line with the knee. Nice job, guys. Four more here. Nice and easy. Three. Last two, let's bring both knees up into a tabletop position now and just alternate kicks. Slide and slide, hands pressing down onto the weights or if you'd rather, lift your head, neck and chest up, reach those weights a little further forward on the mat and just keep going. Nice job, let's do eight. Seven, stretch through the heel. Six. Good. Four. Three. Last one, lower the head, neck, and chest if it's lifted. We're gonna scissor switch those legs. Long legs. Nice. Eight. Seven, soft from the ribs. Four. Three two, and one. Bend both knees into the chest. From here, hands come back behind the head. We just lift and we lower the torso. Exhale, curl and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, curl and lift. 
inhale and lower. We're just warming up that core. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Let's just do two more. Last time. Nice, now curl that head, neck, and chest up and just pulse. Elbows are wide. Front ribs sliding down to those hips. Eight, seven, four, three. Lower your right foot down to the ground. Let's slow, rotate, center, rotate, center. Firmly plant that foot into the ground here. Up and twist, up and twist. Rib to hip connection here. Four more on this side, four. Last two. Last time, we'll just switch it right out to the other side. Exhale, twist and center. Anchor through the foot. Make sure the knee is still in line with that hip. Four more to come. Three, nice precise movement here. Two, and last one. Lower that head back down, lower the feet down. Arms down by the sides on top of those weights. Anchor through the hands, open up the collarbones. Nice, easy bridge. Exhale, curl and roll all the way up to the top. Exhale, articulate down, all the way till the tailbone comes down. Roll up, and roll down. Nice, two more to go, guys. Find that deep articulation of the spine. Last time through, roll it down. And I think we're ready to pick up those weights. So tailbone gets nice and heavy, your belly is engaged. We'll reach those weights straight up to the ceiling above our shoulders, bring our knees into tabletop position. Now we're gonna go back to those leg, those toe taps or those heel taps. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Either extending the leg fully or tapping the toe down. Right, those are your two options. When you're ready, let's pick up that pace. Out and in, out and in. Beautiful. Nice and steady, nice and controlled movement, especially with those weights. Four more to go. Three, last two, last time. Beautiful, now let's just stay on one side. Four more here. Last two. Pull the arm and the leg away from each other. You're gonna do a little tiny lift, knee bent or leg extended. Nice, you've got eight, seven, Six, use those abdominals to pull up. Three, two, weights come up over the shoulders. From here, we're gonna circle that leg around. If your leg is bent, try to straighten it out. Nice, other thigh bone is staying completely steady in space. Reverse your circle now, you've got six this way. Pelvis is nice and stable, last four. Last two, and last time. Bend that knee back in, other side, reach. Reach, remember you have that option for your toe tap. Four more. Three, heat should start to be building in that core now. Last time, pull arm and leg away from each other, little lifts. Four, three, weights come up above the shoulders. We circle up, out, around, and in. Three more this direction. Last time, reverse it. Other thigh bone and knee are staying nice and steady. Last three, guys. Last time here. 
Nice. Lower both feet down. Take the feet nice and wide and just let the knees rock towards the center. Give yourself just a moment. Nice. All right. Bring those feet in. Let's reach our toes up to the ceiling now. Weights and hands. Reach those weights up towards the toes. And now we're just going to curl and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Exhale up. Exhale up. Beautiful. You can have a slight bend in those knees, especially if you have tight hamstrings. Again, if at any point you want to lose those weights, you go ahead. You've got eight more lifts. Seven. Lots of energy here. You've got four. Last two. Hold it at the top and pulse. Good job, guys. You've got eight, seven, last four, three, slow it down again. Shorter set, eight, seven, six. How high can you reach those weights? You've got four more here. Last two, last round of pulses coming now. Up. Last four. Last two. And last time. Beautiful. Bend the knees, lower the head, lower one weight down. Keep that other weight in your hand. Take your free hand behind your head. Now you're gonna take your opposite leg up to the ceiling here, and we're gonna reach up and across towards the ankle. Here we go. Lift and rotate. Other knee can be in tabletop on the floor or extended on a low angle. Exhale, curl and rotate. Little pulse. You got it, you got eight. Four, three, two, slow it down for eight. Down, cross and lift. Exhale on that cross, four more. Last two, last time, little pulse. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Ah, bend those knees. Let your head come down for a moment. Carefully switch your weight into your other hand. Readjust. Other foot comes up to the ceiling when you're ready. Slow curl and rotate. Slow curl and rotate. Find the leg position that works for you. Try to do the same you did on the other side, however, right? We want to be even. You've got four more slow. Three. Last time, up and pulse. Four, three, two, slow it down. Six. Five. Last two. Last time. Up and pulse. Just eight. Seven. Last four. And two. And one. Bend those knees in. Lower the weights totally down for a second. Let's give those weights just a break. Hands down by your sides or underneath your sacrum for more low back support. From here, separate your knees about shoulder distance. Knees are bent at 90 degrees. We're gonna reach out and down, and out and down, alternating to the outside low corners of the mat. Good, now if you wanted to, head, neck, and chest can lift, hands can come back behind the head. For this round, I'm gonna keep my head on the ground. Think about your low abdominals lifting those knees back up above the hips. Stick with these alternating or tap both. Both. Low back is very close to the mat. Nice. From here, leave your toes tapped forward and extend at the knee, alternating one foot and the other foot. One foot 
and then the other foot. Good, see that my knees are beyond my hips. There's that diagonal line. Last four, three, two. Now you can stick with this alternating, or again, reach both toes out and tap. Out and tap. Thigh bones are staying the same distance from my chest throughout this exercise. Four more here. Last two, and last one. Good, now everyone, try to lift those legs up. Let's bring them together towards the ceiling. We're gonna bring them out and down to the sides, up and into the center, like a little rainbow. Nice, now if you wanna add more challenge, just don't come all the way up to the ceiling. Keep those legs angled a little more forward as you lift them back up. Nice, a few more here, four, and three. Last two. On this last one, you're gonna find an angle that feels appropriate for you, and flutter, kick those feet. Eight, seven, six. Keep breathing, you've got four. Last time through. Nice job, bend those knees in. Take one hand on the top of each knee and let's just circle those knees around. Giving that low back a moment of reprieve. Reverse it. Good, so coming up, we're gonna work on some hips and obliques. So let's roll over onto one side. To start, I'm gonna be up on my forearm. So if you're coming with me, you're gonna line your back body up with the back edge of your mat. Keep one weight handy. Throughout this series, if at any point you need to lower the weight, please feel free. From here, we're gonna take our weight behind our top knee. We're gonna squeeze that weight in nice and tight and then bring our heels together. Stack your hips one on top of another, top hand on the hip or on the floor. From here, we're just gonna open and close those knees. Make sure you've got a good grip on that weight. Another great option is to put a little pillow or a little ball behind the top knee. Nice. Notice my heels are lifted off the floor. I'm using that outer hip to open. Good. Lift up with those low obliques. Make sure your upper body is nice and engaged as well. Four more to come. Last two. Last time, we'll hold that knee up and just pulse it back. Outer hip, outer hip. Eight more, and six. You're doing great. Last four, three, two. Let's slow it down again, nice and easy. Down and open, down and open. Four more here. Last two, last time, up and press it back. Eight, seven, six, Last four, three, two, and one. Now listen, you're just gonna lower your bottom foot down. You're gonna make sure that your top leg is parallel to the floor. Your knee is pointing straight forward. Then we're gonna lower and lift the whole shape of the leg up and down. Up and down. Good, my knees are at a slight angle forward of my hips at the moment. Good, four more here. Three. Two, and one. Now push that knee back so it's directly underneath the hip and lift and lower it here. Good. Nice and steady. Think about how long you can make your top waist even as you lift that knee away from the floor. Four more here. Three. Last one. Now listen, we're gonna come up Forward and down and lift. Back and down and lift. One more at that pace. Forward, down, lift. Back, down, lift. Quicker if you want it. Forward, down, lift. Back, down, lift. Forward, down, lift. 
back, down, lift. You've got four more sets. And three. Feeling that heat. Two more to come. Last set. Beautiful, now carefully reach down, grab the weight with your hand, reach it up to the ceiling and just long leg lifts here. Otherwise, that hand can be right on the thigh or the hip. You've got eight, seven, and then we are done with these hips on this side. Last four, three, two, and one. Very nice, bend that knee in. Come up off your shoulder, off your forearm if you need just a second. And then when you're ready, come on back down. We're gonna stay on the side for some side planks. At all times, that bottom knee can be down on the ground or you can have both legs extended. I'm gonna extend both legs and stack my feet. You could also stagger your feet, top foot in front of the other. Weight comes onto the hip from here. We go down and up, down and up. Option here. Good, four, three, two. Last time, hold those hips up to the sky, little lifts. Nice, eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Now reach that top arm to the ceiling. When you're ready, we rotate and round the spine, threading that needle through, and then lift the spine up reaching the arm to the sky. Here we go again. Round, reach, round, reach. Just two more. Last time through. Round and reach. Come all the way down. Make your legs into a Z position. Let's reach up and over, just stretching out those lower obliques. Nice, now we've gotta go over to the other side, starting with our hips. So careful of your weight, turn over. Line your back body up with the back edge of the mat. Both knees are bent, knees are slightly forward at the hips. Take that top weight, if you're using it, carefully behind your top knee. Stack your hips, lift your heels. When you're ready, here we go. Slow open, slow close of that top knee. Isolating the work into the top hip. Exhale on that lift. Four more to come. Three, last two, last time. Little pulses back. Woo, keep those heels squeezing together. Keep the hips stacked. Lift through those low obliques. Lots going on to think about. Eight, one of the reasons I love Pilates so much is that it never gets boring, right? There's always a different variation. There's always a different way to challenge yourself. Slow it down again. Up and down. Up and down. Two more here. Last time and last time little pulses. Up. Up, good, four, three, two, and one. Now lower that top foot or that bottom foot all the way down, knees pointing straight forward. Now lower and lift the whole shape of the leg. Again, knees are forward of the hips at the moment. Reassess that upper body. This side seems much harder to me today. Good, four more to come, four, three, two, and last time. Now bring that knee underneath the hip, opening up the front of that hip, and we just go up and down here. Good, four more, and three. Last time, hold the knee up. Remember, we're gonna go forward, down, up, back, down, up forward, down, up, back, down, up. A little quicker if you want. Forward, down, up, back, down, up. Four more sets. And three. 
Last two, keep smiling even when it gets really tough. Last time, forward, down, up, back, down, up. Carefully take that weight from your outer hip, reach the hand to the sky, reach the leg, long little lifts. Remember your hand options. You've got eight, seven, reach longer through those toes. Last four, three, two, and last time. Very nice. Come up off the forearm for just a moment. Stretch out that shoulder. Come back down again when you are ready for those um, side planks. So elbow under the shoulder. Bottom knee can be down. Otherwise, feet stacked or feet staggered. Here we go. Lift it up. Weight comes right to the top of the hip when you're ready. Hip lowers, hip lifts. Try to get a nice big range of motion here. Four more, Woo. three, last two, last one up, and little pulse. Eight, seven, six. Top arm to the sky, let's rotate under, rotate up. So your rib cage is rotating, but your hips are staying stacked. You've got two more only. Last time. Very nice, lower those hips down, bend the knees, Z position, reach up and over, big side stretch. Take that moment. Nice job, guys. Okay, from here, let's turn side. We're gonna use both weights. If you wanted extra, extra support for your low back, you could put a small ball behind your back or some pillows. We are gonna be in a C-curve position for quite some time. So when you need to, just come up and take a little stretch. Okay, from here. Feet are in front of the hips. Knees are about um, sit bone distance apart. We're gonna roll the spine back, tucking that tailbone under. Weights come right by the thighs. From here, we lower down a bit and up a bit down a bit and up a bit. Inhale, exhale. Belly button is pulling up and in. Four more, three more. Last time, pulled it back, little pulses back, back, back. Eight. You want your feet to feel grounded on that floor, so if you need to move them in a little closer, go for it. Nice. Accent on the up. Little ups. Lift. Lift. You've got eight, seven, four, three, two. Keep the upper body steady and alternate the arms. Lift. Lift. Good, four more, three, last two. We're gonna take a second to lift out of this position in a moment, lift up. Round the arms slightly. Sit up on those sit bones as tall as you can. From here, open and close the arms, open. Open, now you can stay here. It's tall spine, crown of the head lifting. Or as you open the arms, you can tuck the tail and roll back. As you close them, bring them forward. Nice, roll, lift, roll, lift, four more. Abdominals and arms. Last two. Last time, we're gonna sit up on those sit bones again. Little lifts of the arms front. Eight, seven, front shoulder working, six, Good. Last four, three, last two, and last time. Very nice job. Lower those weights down for a moment. Good, roll the shoulders. When you're ready, we're gonna pick up just one weight. We're gonna hold the weight sideways, right at the belly button, and just twist. Rotate, rotate. Tailbone is still tucked under. We will come back to this exercise again in a little bit. We're also gonna hit a little bit more arms in just a moment. 
Nice, you've got four. You've got three. And last time. Very nice, come center. From here, we're gonna come up to kneeling. If you wanted to do this part of the exercise of the workout standing or seated in a chair, you could as well. If you're coming with me, your knees are sit bone distance apart, so are your heels. Arms float forward of the hips. Good, little lifts again. Up, up, up. Press your pelvis forward, draw your belly button in. Nice, you've got eight, seven, six, four, three, two, good. Turn your palms down, pull your right elbow back and reach it, and then pull your left elbow back and reach it. You can stay here if you would like. As the elbow pulls back, you lean, you lift, you lean. Rotating through the torso, working those quadriceps as you lean back, core engaged. Nice job, you've got four more. And three, last two, last time. Now let's stay on one side. Pull, if you want, stay back on that angle throughout. Other arm holds front. Four more on this side. Three, rotate, pull. Two, last time, other way. Exhale, I'm squeezing my glutes, I'm pressing my shins down to the ground. Four more here. Last two, and last time, beautiful. Lower those arms down for a moment, just hang them right by your sides. You're stacked on top of the knees. From here, we lift those arms up and down to the sides. Exhale as you lift. Soft bend in the elbows. Nice. Hands reaching up so that you can see them in your peripheral vision. Exhale, lift. Exhale, lift. Now, if you're coming with me, you're going to add that lean back. Back. Four more here. Four. Three. Two, can you hold those arms up? Hold your lean and circle, circle. Four, three, two, reverse it. Eight, seven, four, three, two, and one. Woo. We have one more set. Let those arms hang down for just a moment. We're just gonna do a few bicep curls here. So hold those elbows slightly forward of the rib cage and just bend and extend the arms. Good, if you'd like to lift those elbows up even higher, feel free. Nice job, guys. Now, as before, if you want, add your lean on your curl. Stand as you straighten the arms. Lean, straighten, lean, straighten, four, Three. Option to hold that lean. Just a curl. Four more. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful. Everyone come all the way back down onto your seat. We're gonna bring our feet back forward again. Good, round the spine, weights and hands. Hands right in front of the shoulders. Your rounded back, and we're just gonna do a little cross punch here. Nice, rotate the waist, but keep the pelvis steady. If you'd like to advance this, just float the feet off the floor a few inches. Good. Eight more, alternating sides, six. Four, three, two, and one. Let's just go to one side. Four more sets. Three. Other side. Here we go. Twist, twist. Option for those feet to be down. You 
we've got four, three, two, last time. Sit up for a moment, give that back a little reprieve. Nice job. And then we're gonna roll back down both weights right at the belly button this time. Tuck that tailbone deeply under and twist through the waist. Option to float the feet. This time, the knees can go in alternate directions of the upper body. Eight, six, four, three, two, and one. Good, place those weights down for a moment. Let's bring our knees apart, lean the torso forward, give yourself a breath or two. And then we're gonna lay down on our belly for a little back work. So, roll around. Weights are optional. Feet about the width of your mat. Before we do anything else, I want you to lengthen your tailbone towards the backs of your heels. Press your feet firmly down. Weights as an option are in the hands, hands right by the shoulders. Long back of the neck, belly is braced. When you're ready, we lift everything up everything down. Upper body lifts, upper body lowers. Lift, lower, slow and steady. Last time, lift and lower. Now lift it up and we punch right. We punch left, right, left. If you like, cover those feet. Nice, four more here. Three. Keep that pelvis nice and steady. Bring those weights back in. We're gonna combine those two. So, two lifts, four punches. Here we go. Are you ready? Shoulders away from the ears. Float those weights, tailbone towards the heels. Slow lift, up, down, up, down, punch, two, three, four. Lift, lift, punch, two, three, four, lift. Keep it going. Two more sets, here we go. Last time, lift, lower, lift, lower. One, two, three, four. Place those weights right under the shoulders. Sit up and back into child's pose. Knees wide, toes together. Reach those weights forward. Nice job, guys. All right. Let's sit all the way up. We're gonna roll those feet around to the front of the mat. Point through the toes. Weights or no weights, forward of the shoulders for a nice little roll down. Roll the spine one vertebra at a time all the way down to the mat. Reaching those toes forward as you roll it down. Inhale the arms up overhead, take a breath. Exhale, hands come over the shoulders, head, neck and chest lifts. And we roll it all the way up to seated. Let's go again, slow roll it down. And slow roll it up. Now you can stay with this. You could bend your knees as well to add a little more support. If you're coming with me, you're gonna lift one leg as you roll it up. So we come forward, we lift one leg to the sky. As we roll down, we lower that foot slowly down to the floor. Other side, roll it up. One more time like this. Nice job. One more step, if you would like to. Both legs can come up. You can either bend them into tabletop or keep the legs straight. I'm gonna go for tabletop this first round. Arms come over the shoulders, head, neck, and chest lift. Slide those feet in, bring the knees into tabletop. Roll it down, slide the feet back out, arms overhead. Let's do one more exactly like that. Nice, no option for those straight legs. Roll it up, T 
teaser, roll it down with control. Again, roll it up, teaser, roll it down with control. Let's do two more. On this last one, we are gonna try to hold it up. Good, lower and lift the arms. Four more. Three, big challenge, two. Last one, circle the arms. Down, around, and up. Down, around, and up, woo! Down, around, and up. Reverse that circle, here we go. Last four. Three, two. Last one, palms up, little lifts, you've got it. Last move, seven, six, four, three. Descend with control all the way down. Nice, place those weights behind your head. Draw one knee into your chest. Exhale the breath. Same thing, other side. Good, switch it out one more time. Take that knee across the body and twist. Exhale, let it go. Come back through center, switch it out. And rotate. Come back through center. One hand on the top of each knee. Let's circle the knees around. Reverse that circle. And last time. Very nice job. Let's rock over to one side. We're gonna come up to seated. Find a comfortable seat, whatever that might be for you. Reach one hand out to the side and let's big, do a big side bend up and over. Good, turn your nose to your knee, stretch through the pinky side of your hand. Rotate the chest back open, lift through those top ribs, and then come all the way up to seated, other side. Reach up and over. Give yourself a big round of applause, great job. Take that nose to the knee, stretch through the pinky side of the hand. Thank your body for all that hard work it just did. Good, lift through the torso and come back center. Hands to both knees, arch the back forward and then round the spine back. Arch the back forward and round the spine back, just loosening up that spine. Two more. Last time. Nice, and now let's circle. Just circling the rib cage, a few to each side. Reverse it. Last time. Nice job, settle right at the center. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale the hands down. One more time, inhale it up and exhale it down. Great job today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that. I know I enjoyed it myself. Thank you so much for working out with me as always. And um, don't forget to leave me a comment or question down below. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.